Hey, I'm Jeff with Wizicom. I'm here with Maurizio, who is part of the research and development team. Maurizio, among other projects, focuses on the Wizicom Bluetooth app. So today we're going to talk about updating the firmware of your BFL through the Wizicom app from the initial version to a version that is supported for remote control by the app. This process in the future will be seamless and simple, but because this is the first one, it's going to take an extra step. So we'll have Maurizio take us through firmware updating your Wizicom BFL over the air. Okay, so here we have a BFLT. Um, you will see that it, it, it cannot be connected via the app, so you have to update it to the first firmware available, which is the 1.1.0 version, which is simply embedded in the app. So uh, to, to, to upgrade the BFLT, you have to put it in bootloader mode, so you have to press the exit and the app button together simultaneously, and confirm it by pressing the menu button, which is the yes confirm button. So reboot it in auto mode, and you will see it, it, it gets in the bootloader mode, it simply reboots. Here it will be available to be upgraded. So let's go back to the app, press the settings menu, and go to the firmware update tab. Then you can press the device that you are going to upgrade to. So in this case, it's a BFLT. I'm pressing BFLT. And here we see all the lists of the devices that can be upgraded. Here you can see the BFLT. So I'm pressing BFLT, which is this one. Here you will have a list of all the available versions. In this case, we have embedded only the first version which is available and working with the app, so it's the 1.1.0 version. You can, see, you can also see a change log by pressing the information button on the left with all the changes and the bug fixes in the firmware. You can close that, so you can press the 1.1.0 version. You will have a confirmation to be sure that if, you can, if you want to do it, so I'm pressing yes. And you, have, you will have a warning, so uh, this is just a, a safe uh, precaution, so um, the update uh, needs to be uh, as safe as possible, so if, it, if something goes wrong, it, it can always be um, get back to the, the working state, so if for, for some reasons the app doesn't uh, get to the to update the app, uh, you can simply do it again because the, the bootloader will still be working and the Bluetooth will still be working always as, until it gets to, the, to a working state. So we can just press the yes button here, Keep it as close as possible to the device to be sure that it doesn't go, go in a wrong state. And the process will take something like 30 seconds, I think. And once this process completes, your device should reboot and you'll be all set to go. And for any questions or any issues you have with this or anything else we can help with, send an email to support at wizicom.com. <laughs>